Now, following the passing of its self-imposed deadline, Iran says it's fully prepared now to further enrich uranium to any level and with any amount. Iranian officials say they are going to reduce the country's commitments every two months unless the other countries still in the deal protect Iran from crushing American sanctions. U.S. President Donald Trump says Iran, quote, better be careful. Lee Sung Jae reports. In a news conference broadcast live on Sunday, senior Iranian officials confirmed Tehran will move away from the commitments it made under the 2015 nuclear deal every 60 days unless the other signatories of the pact protect Iran from U.S. sanctions. In a few hours, the technical work will be done and enlistment beyond 3.67 percent will begin. We predict that Monday morning when agency comes to measure our enlistment will be higher than 3.67 percent. According to Iran's foreign ministry, the move comes as European members of the pact have failed to abide by the deal. The reason we are starting our second step in reducing our commitments from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action today is that Europe and other members could not meet our demands, especially in the field of oil and bringing back our income. They haven't been able to do anything worthy. The other signatories have expressed grave concerns over Iran's threats, including Britain's top diplomat, who said the Middle East will be far more dangerous if Iran acquires nuclear weapons. Well, we continue to think alongside the French and the Germans that the most important priority is for Iran to remain nuclear free. We think it would be far more dangerous for the Middle East if Iran acquired nuclear weapons. We'd still like to find a way to make this deal work. We're very concerned about the news that has come out today. and. We will wait for independent verification by the relevant international body before deciding what next steps. But, but obviously, if Iran is breaching this deal, there will be very serious consequences. During a cabinet meeting Sunday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called Iran's announcement an extremely dangerous move and urged European leaders to impose strong sanctions on Tehran. This is a very, very dangerous step. I call on my friends the heads of France, Britain and Germany. You signed this deal and you said that as soon as they take the, this step, severe sanctions will be imposed. There was the Security Council resolution. Where are you? Despite Tehran's continued threats, the government insists it remains open for dialogue and is leaving the door open to diplomacy. French President Emmanuel Macron says he and Iranian President Hassan Rouhani have agreed to seek conditions for a resumption of dialogue by next week. An unnamed U.S. official has confirmed that the U.S. will continue to impose maximum pressure on Iran unless the nation stops developing nuclear weapons. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.